Hello everyone. Uh, both Judith Polgar and Nona Gaprindashvili were considered to be the strongest uh, women players of their generation. And uh, this is the only game the two of them played together. And uh, well, at the time this game was played, Judith Polgar was uh, around 14 years old. And uh, well, she was already an amazing player. I mean, already at 16, uh, she was giving uh, world champion Garry Kasparov a hard time. Uh, but that's to be expected as uh, Bobby Fischer lived with uh, her and her, her family for a while. Uh, but, uh, well, Nona Gaprindashvili uh, is actually the first woman uh, chess grandmaster ever. And she's also the first uh, woman to achieve the title of grandmaster. And, uh, well, she held the world champion title for 17 years before losing it to uh, Maja Ciburdanice. Uh, so let's see this game. Uh, it's a pretty aggressive game by Nona Gaprindashvili. And, uh, well, uh, the, the, the ending of the game is uh, simply uh, magnificent. So let's see this game. It was played in 1999. Uh, we have e4 by Judith and e5 by Nona. Knight to f3, knight to f6, so the Petro of defense. Uh, d4 is played, the Steinitz attack. Uh, I also sometimes uh, play this as white, it's very enjoyable. Uh, we have knight captures on e4, bishop to d3, uh, now d5, and knight captures on e5, grabbing the pawn back. Uh, knight to d7. We have knight captures on d7, bishop captures on d7, and uh, polgar castles here. And uh, here we have queen to h4, already going for the attack. Uh, c4 is played, and uh, we have a queenside castle. And now c5, uh, preparing ideas like uh, b4, b5, and, well, not allowing this dark square bishop to be developed to d6. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, this allows for a different kind of approach. Uh, we have a g5 by Nona Gaprindashvili. Uh, knight to c3 is played, uh, bishop to g7, going for that d4 pawn, and now knight to e2. And, uh, okay, here maybe maybe developing a piece with bishop to e3 and defending the d, uh, the d pawn with uh, a move like this would have been better. Uh, but she played uh, knight to e2, probably to bring the knight uh, back uh, over to the king side to help out with the defense. Uh, rook h to e8, and we have queen to e1. And now knight back to f6. Uh, so this knight is now pinned on e2. Uh, queen to d2, unpinning, and now knight back to e4, at attacking the queen. And, uh, well, here probably queen to e1 is a possibility going for repetition of moves, but uh, the 14-year-old Judith uh, wants to go, go for the win. And uh, she plays queen to a5, now uh, going for that a7 pawn. King to b8 is played, and we have f3. And, well, this is the problem of this knight on e4 in the Petrov defense. Uh, it's not that easy to get rid of it. Uh, you can give, you can al always capture it with bishop captures on e4, but this is giving up the bishop pair. And if you don't want to give up the bishop pair, you do have to weaken your king side with a move like f3. So knight to f3 is played, knight to f6, sorry. Uh, we have g3, now weakening the king side even more. Uh, queen to h5, and uh, we have a4. Uh, knight to g4 is played, uh, threatening queen captures on h2, and, uh, well, there really isn't uh, much white, white can do here. Uh, capturing the knight is definitely the best move. Uh, we have f captures on g4 and bishop captures on g4. And now uh, Gaprindashvili is attacking this knight on e2 three times. The bishop, the queen, and the rook are attacking it. So you can't defend the knight, uh, you, you do have to play something. Uh, so what do you do here? Uh, if you want to keep the piece, that's uh, gonna be a bit problematic. For example, you could play something like knight to c3. Uh, but uh, this, this, isn't a, this isn't a very good move as you get bishop captures on d4 with check. And, uh, well, what do you do here? You can't block this check with, with the bishop, you can't uh, block it with the rook. And you can't really pl play much else. If you go, for example, king h1, uh, well, this is pretty much over. Uh, bishop to f3 check. Only move is rook captures, and after that, queen captures on f3. So, this isn't really a possibility. After bishop to g4, you do have to give some material back. Uh, so, she, uh, you did play knight to f4, but maybe bishop captures on g5 was a better idea. For example, if bishop captures on g5, uh, now you're attacking this rook on d8, and well. Uh, if rook captures, then you capture the rook on d8. This could have been played, maybe. Uh, but okay, we have knight to f4. Now bishop captures on d4. Uh, 
uh, with check, so not yet reacting to this knight f4 move, uh, king to g2, and now capturing the knight, g captures on f4. Uh, we have bishop captures on f4, and now bishop to e5, as this c7 uh, pawn was under threat. Uh, c6 is played, and uh, we have bishop back to c8. Uh, although although b6 could have been played here, it's, it's not a problem really. For example, if queen to a6, only then bishop to c8. And after queen b5, white will have to spend a lot of time with moves like a5. Uh, but okay, uh, after c6, bishop to c8 is played, and this is also, uh, also possible. Uh, we have queen to b4 now, uh, bishop to d6 is played with an attack on the queen, uh, queen to b3, uh, and now bishop captures on f4. We have uh, rook captures on f4, and now rook to e3. Now pinning this bishop here. Uh, we have queen to c2 on pinning, and now queen to h3 with check. Uh, king goes to h1, and now of course, uh, as this pawn is pinned here, a rook captures on g3. Uh, with, well, uh, if this queen ever moves from c2, queen g2 is checkmate. Uh, so we have c captures on b7, uh, we have bishop captures on b7, and uh, here you plays rook to f7. And well, this is uh, of course the threat. Uh, the threat is simple: queen captures on c7, followed by queen captures on b8 with checkmate. So capturing this bishop is impossible to win a piece. And uh, well, yeah, you can't really make instant progress with a move like uh, d4 check, uh, as bishop to e4 covers it up. So what do you play here? After rook to f7, uh, we have rook to c8. Uh, a defensive move, but uh, white will be in very big trouble soon. Uh, Judith plays uh, bishop to b5, and uh, well, here comes d4. And uh, well, this is the idea here. Uh, Judith plays bishop to c6, now defending this check, and also if bishop captures, queen captures, this will be okay for white. Uh, but here, Nona, uh, uh, Nona Company Dashvili ends the game with one beautiful move. And I will let you find the move for yourselves. Uh, if you want, you can pause the video. I will give it a couple of seconds, as it's quite a thematic move. So, uh, okay, I do believe that was enough time. For those of you who found the move, congratulations. Uh, you're quite quite the chess players. And for those of you who just want to see the move, uh, the move is rook to c3. And uh, after this move, uh, Judith Bolgar resigned the game. As, well, uh, you, you can't really do anything here. Uh, I mean, your queen is attacked, also this is a double attack on your queen and also on the bishop here on c6. And, uh, well, if you capture the bishop, for example, you lose the queen, uh, followed by checkmate. And uh, if you capture the rook, well then, now this bishop is not defended, bishop captures here with check. And, uh, well, this is just uh, completely, completely winning uh, for black. Uh, with the best defense, for example, rook g1, you get rook to g8 with check. Uh, rook has to block, as there isn't really anything else to do. You can go, f maybe, you can go king to f2, uh, but then you lose the queen, uh, rook to g2 check. Uh, but if you, even if you block captures, y you do have to block it somehow, and, well, this will end instantly. But uh, after this beautiful rook to c3, uh, you did, didn't continue this, and she resigned the game. So yeah, uh, a beautiful game uh, by the by Nona Gaprindashvili, and uh, also a fun fact for the end of this video: uh, in 1975, uh, Nona Gaprindashvili had a perfume named after her. So yeah, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Thomas Chomiak, Carl Sippel, and Brian Fripp for a contribution to my channel. Uh, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, oh yeah, and I just wanted to say, Carl Zippel, the game you suggested, uh, I already did a review on that game, uh, I will send you the link. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.